So in my last video on MBBS versus biotech degree, we received amazing feedback from all of you and thank you for that. And somebody among all of you asked me, what can we do if we pursue a biotechnology degree? Now, this question has come up to me multiple times from parents, from students who are just getting started with their biotech degree and they wonder what all things they can become. In today's video, we'll try to enlist, okay, if not go in detail, at least we'll try to enlist around 45 to 50 different professions which you can take if you pursue a biotech degree. Like MBBS, if you are doing uh, MBBS and then MD and uh, all the, those de those degrees, you can either become a doctor with a general physician or a neurosurgeon or a, a dentist or there's multiple subdivisions. Same way, in biotech also, there are multiple divisions. Actually, it runs into thousands of uh, different divisions. But today, for ease of understanding, we'll try to enlist around 50. Now, to start with, we'll broadly categorize into three parts. The first is academia, the second is industry, and the third is enablers. Let us start with the industry first, because obviously, the industry is where the, all the money is. So, to start with, industry does, first thing is R&D, which is research and development. So, now, under research and development, if you study genetics, then you can do genetics research or a genetic engineer. If you study molecular biology, then you can get to do molecular biology research, such as editing CRISPR, editing genes on, through using CRISPR or other such techniques. If you study biochemistry, then you can get into biochemistry research. If you uh, get into drug discovery, so development of pharmaceuticals and drugs and medicines. Then if you get into uh, the biotech companies like Biocon or Syngin, you can be into product development that is called as formulation and development. Next, if you get into uh, stem cell research, then you can, of course, do multiple things. For example, recently we saw that stem cells are being used to remove the blindness in people, right? So uh, you can regenerate the retina of the eye using stem cells. So that is one kind of work which you can do. By now you would have realized that a doctor just prescribes the medicine. Doctor just does the things but the doers behind him, the enablers of a doctor is actually a biotechnologist. So even if you could not become a doctor, doesn't matter. You can be someone who will help the doctor do that because if you do not create retina using stem cells, he cannot implant it, right? So that is where your role comes into picture. Now, followed with that, of course, you can get into the vaccine development. Now, you must have seen during the COVID stages what what happened. There was no vaccine and we all were thinking like for the next 10 years, probably we cannot have any vaccine and we have to live like this. But thanks to the biotech industry, we could engineer the virus. We could weaken the virus and have the vaccine. So vaccine development is one area. Then virus research, understanding how viruses work, how they spread, how can we prevent and what exactly needs to be done to make sure that such viruses do not mutate. All of that comes under virology research. And all of this is happening obviously in the industry. Now followed by that, you can also make a career in patenting and IPR, which is intellectual property rights. So whatever work the biotech industry is doing, they will come to you to get the patent done. So you can write the patent agent exam and you can do that. Next, you could also get into biotechnology equipment design. So for that also, you need a good understanding of biotech. And that is where B-Tech guys can take a lead because they have an engineering degree. So biotechnology equipment design is one area where you can also get it. Now, if we further try to dig in, then we have clinical research industry. Now, what is clinical research industry? So remember, you get a medicine, you go to a shop and you buy a medicine, right? But what if I tell you that this medicine has traveled 10 years, right? Probably this medicine was first found 10 years ago and now it has undergone so many tests on humans. So a lot of people, while it is under test, will take the pill and see how what, if there is any side effect or if there, there is any effect. So that is called as clinical research. Now under this, you can get into clinical trials management. You can get into development of diagnostic tests. You can get into development of personalized medicine, medical device developments. I'm sure you must have seen the pacemakers. You can get into gene therapy. You can get into consulting in the clinical research space. Then you can get into biomedical research, immunotherapy development, then regenerative medicine using stem cells again. And of course, you can get into health 
informatics. Now, followed by this, do you know which is the biggest industry in our country? In fact, every country without which we cannot live. That is the agricultural industry. So you can get into the agricultural biotechnology space. What can you do there? You can do crop genetic modification. For example, you must have heard of BT cotton, BT brinjal. Then you can go and develop pest resistant crops so that the pest will not destroy and the farmer will not uh, lose the crop. So that is where pest resistant crops you can do research on. Then you can work on agricultural biotech product development. You can get into biofertilizer production and research and develop. You can also get into aquaculture biotechnology where you have fishes and mushrooms. Then you have the plant tissue culture where you can do a lot of things. Followed by that, you can get into livestock genetic improvement. For example, you must have seen uh, they are very prone to a particular type of disease. What if you could do the modification in the gene and they live longer? Followed by that, you can get into consulting again in the agri BT space. Then, of course, biopesticide development also. Now you come to the environment where you live. So what can you do for the environment? Well, you must have realized there is so much pollution, the plastic and all that solid waste, e-waste, all that is coming. So we can work on bioremediation research. Followed by that, you must have seen the uh, waste managers coming and picking the waste, right? Where does it go? It goes into the landfill. What if you could create waste management solutions? What if you could create biofuels which are which is eco-friendly? You can get into environmental monitoring. Followed by that, you can get into renewable energy development, water treatment solutions, soil remediation, carbon capture technology, ecological restoration, environmental impact assessment. All of this you can do. Now comes my favorite part, which is bioinformatics, computational biology and AI in biology. Now, so far, I've told you around 40 different professions and last 10 is going to be here. Now, genome sequencing, you can work upon using bioinformatics. You can just have a laptop and you can work. You can get into protein structure prediction and engineering. You can get into bioinformatics software development. You can work on data analysis and management. You can work on computational modeling. You can work on systems biology, metagenomics, functional genomics, Bioinformatics consulting, bioinformatics freelancing, artificial intelligence and biotechnology. And this brings me to the 50 professions which I told you. Now there is bonus because till now I've just stopped, spoken about industry. What about academy? What can you do? You can become a university professor. You can become a research scientist. You can become a biotechnology lecturer. You can become an educational content creator. You can become a laboratory instructor. You can become an academic advisor to the government. You can become a science communicator, which I am. And you can become a curriculum developer. You can become a science policy advisor to the government. And you can become an educational outreach coordinator. So these are the things which you can do. Now coming to the last part, which is enabler. So I told you about research and development, that is industry. Told you about the academia. Now coming to the enablers. So you can start your own company. You can enable you can become an advisor to the government. You enable the government to frame biotech policies. You can get into biotechnology entrepreneurship. You can get into marketing and sales. You enable the company to sell its product. You can get into regulatory affairs. You can get into quality assurance and control. You can get into uh, regulatory compliance as an officer in the government. You can work into the Department of Biotechnology in your country and you in the Department of Science and Technology in your country. And then you can get into various government research programs and you can head that as a leader of that program. So there are multiple such professions which is available in the biotech sector. The truth is, in the absence of knowledge, we make wrong decisions. In the absence of right people guiding us. We make our decision by consulting the wrong people. And actually, uh, I think I can tell you another 100 more professions right now, which you can do if you are a biotechnology graduate, postgraduate or PhD. I'm not here to tell you that you are doing the right thing or the wrong thing. I'm just here to tell you that whatever you have started, there is a beautiful destination out there if you just pursue. Keep moving forward one step at a time. You can play a big role in this global world with your biotechnology degree. It is okay not to become a doctor, but it is not okay not to play your role as a biotechnologist. And if you lose hope, if you lose uh, faith in your sector, if you start thinking that there is no scope, 
then probably you will not grow. The truth is, if ever you feel low, watch any of my videos and you will be full of energy. You will realize that these 50 professions is just the tip of the iceberg. There are a thousand more professions which you can pursue and make a lot of money from this sector. All you have to do is get started today. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon on the next next one. Till then, keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.